dude. I just had a really fun session today. There's a gal that came in and she's honestly one of my favorites. And she was having some anxiety around stepping into a bigger version of herself. And so we got to talking and we got to doing a little bit of kind of unconscious conversational work. And what came up was actually something that totally caught both of us off guard. I was thinking that we were going to be kind of doing something around releasing the anxiety of stepping into this bigger version of herself. But it turns out this bigger version of herself, she starts saying there's this version of me that I'm supposed to be. You know, there's this version of me that I'm supposed to be and I'm just scared to step into it. When somebody says they're supposed to be something, it's a real big sign that maybe that's not exactly what they want. You know, she wasn't saying there's this version of me that I want to be. There's this version of me that I desire to be. It's I'm supposed to be. So we did a little bit more digging and found out where the fear was. And also we found out that this version of herself, this badass boss woman who's the super mom, who's also got a lot of responsibility and is busier than all get out. That wasn't what she wanted. She wanted to be free. She wanted to build this life for herself that allowed her so much more expansion than being busy all the time. She wanted more. She didn't want less. She wasn't trying to step back and stay small. She just had gotten this idea of what would be a very small facet of her success. And her mind had, th had latched onto it and thought, okay, well, that must be success. That must be the bigger version of me. Mm -mm. That was only like maybe one Saturday in the life that was her. But because her mind thought, okay, well, great, I'm going to have to be that all the time, it got real exhausting even to think about. So, yeah, if you find yourself ang anxious around stepping into a bigger version of you, it might be that you need to push through it and just go ahead and step into it. But check in and see if that bigger version of you is what you truly desire or what you're just thinking that you're supposed to desire. Because if we're forcing ourselves into a box that we think we're supposed to be in, even if it seems like it's further ahead than where we are now, it's going to feel real small. It's going to feel real, real just contracting. And she was actually afraid to be smaller. She wasn't afraid to go bigger. She was afraid to be smaller and to be trapped by that smallness. Isn't that interesting? So check in. Are you afraid to be big? Or are you afraid to be small? And your true alignment, that truly bigger version of you is so much bigger. Happy healing.